Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lab here. Uh, just my little Saturday blog. Uh, to talk of a couple of things that I've been, you know, on my mind and thinking about and stuff. And um, it's starting to warm up here. It's probably about, you know, 12.30 Saturday afternoon. Uh, I want to talk about, you know, high air equipment and, uh, you know, high efficiency boilers and furnaces. Uh, my thoughts on them what I think about them, uh, you know, the good and the bad. Um, you know, I like, uh, as far as boilers go, I like boilers that, you know, are old school type of boilers that you could work on them to go into the chimney type of thing. A lot of these high efficiency boilers are like suitcase boilers. You hang them on a flipping wall and you open them up and there's all kinds of switches and controls and they make like shit as far as I'm concerned. Um, the high efficiency furnaces, um, the secondary heat exchangers don't last. They rot out because it's very acidic. The gas is acidic. I don't think you're, you're going to save some money on, you know, um, fuel and, uh, you know, but they are going to rot out there. I bet you the life expectancy of, a, a you know, it's probably 15 years. You know, back in the day, some of these old furnaces, these 80 plus furnaces, you know, they went, you know, 40 years. They're still out there running. Um, some of the communicating, uh, condensers and stuff and the two stage and stuff, that's going to be a lot of problems in the future fixing that stuff. Uh, you know, things break all the time. I work on things day in and day out, you know, condenser fan motor, you know, a rescue motor is not a big deal. Now you go change an extra teen motor, if, you know, it's going to be $900. So that's just the pot. That's not including the labor. Uh, a lot of these high efficiency uh, equipment and stuff, you're not going to have them parts on the truck. I think it's going to be a problem in the future as far as service goes. Um, some of these high efficiency furnaces, they got four vacuum switches on them. It goes through all these different stages. Like, you know, back in the day, you had one vacuum switch. They they make things a lot comp more complicated than they, they have to, I think. Um, yeah, you are saving money on electricity. It is more efficient, but there's still a lot of bells and whistles, and that's more shit to break down. And um, myself, I like a straight up like 13, 14 sear, uh, air conditioner. Put it in. You know, I'd rather run a piston than a TXV. Less things to break down. Um, I always say, keep it simple, stupid. You know, why try to reinvent the wheel and come up with all this crazy shit? I see it in boiler controls all the time. They come up with all these new boiler controls, you know, electronic bullshit, and uh, they're no they're no better than the older stuff. It's just they're always changing things, new controls, you know, new protector relays on the oil burners. Uh, uh, the boilers, they got the, these these fancy new uh, controls, all digital and stuff. Who needs that shit? What about the old stuff that was, you know, you could test it? It's so much easier. Then now they got everything's now printed circuit boards, and next thing you know, you're gonna need to flip a laptop. And plug a laptop in to figure out, you know, what's going on. So many blinks, this code or that code. They make the, they're making things too flipping complicated. But that's the way the, that's the way the world is. They're always, you know, trying to reinvent the wheel. It's just flipping crazy. You know, I don't mean to go on a rant. I'm just asking for your opinion. What do you think about it? All right, the communicating systems and stuff, high efficiency stuff, like AC. That'd be good for maybe down in Arizona or. Down in Texas, you know, where it's 120 degrees all the time down there. Well, yeah, in that case, and they got zone dampers. Well, yeah, you need high efficiency equipment then in that particular instance. But up, up my way in the Northeast, uh, we don't really, it doesn't really get all that hot for that long. You know, eight weeks, something like that, maybe. Really, really hot. It doesn't, usually doesn't get above 90 up my way. So... I don't know, I'm just making conversation. I'm just wondering what you guys think about all of it. You know, as, as a service guy, you know, I know that shit's going to be breaking down in the future. It'd be a flipping nightmare. You guarantee you're not going to have them boards, all them circuit boards and all them, uh, you know, a lot of that stuff that's on them, them new high efficiency systems. You're not going to stock that in your truck. Shit breaks down over the weekend and stuff. Them people are going to be down without cooling. You know, it's crazy. They're all, it's like flipping cars, you know, they, they make these cars now and you need you need all these special scanners to be able to work on them. That's the way that, that's the way the industry is going. You know, me, myself, when I'm selling equipment, I like to sell equipment that's, you know, 
user-friendly and I can work on in the future. I try not to push all the high-efficiency stuff on people. Um, I'll let them know that it's available, and I'll tell them straight up, you know, it's not made like the old stuff. You know, the old boilers, you know, they were, they were big. You could get to them. Um, they, they went into the chimney a little bit less efficient, but um, they're going to last you a lot longer than these little flipping suitcase pieces of shit that you hang on a flipping wall. <laughs> you got to get in there. You can barely even get in there. They're so tight and uh, the controls and everything, they're crazy. So I, when I, on my, uh, on my customers, I always try to tell the people that I, you know, if they want the high efficiency stuff, I'll put it in. But I want them up front, you know, you're going to save a little bit of extra money, but the thing's not going to last, it's not going to last as long as um, the older stuff. And, you know, more bells and whistles, more shit to break down. You know, in summers upon us, I know a lot of, a lot of you guys are busy doing, you know, AC work, and uh, I'm busy also doing it. Uh, it's kind of nice to be working on the air conditioners again. Uh, I, I do enjoy it, you know, sometimes... Some of the stuff can, can be a little bit of a challenge. You run into problems, this and that, but it's all good. You know, it's all part of, um, you know, being in business and, uh, just, I try to stay out of the hot attics as much as possible. Uh, you can get hot up there in the attics, you know, 120 degrees out. If it's a hundred and hundred degrees outside, it's probably 140 up in the attic. Try to get in and out of there as quick as possible. But, um, yeah, I've, I've been putting in a couple of uh, replacements and installs and, Another thing I wanted to talk about, you know, sometimes you, I come across this equipment, you know, it's 30, 40 years old. I put my gauges on, things out of gas completely. So, you know, a lot of times I tell the people, you know, doing a leak search on this equipment isn't worth it. You're just better off upgrading. And, um, you know, sometimes, oh, no, we don't, we don't want to spend the money. Just put gas in it. You know, I've been trying, you know, to... If I come across really old equipment and, you know, back in the day, I would just keep pumping gas into it and get them going. I'm, I'm not doing that no more. I tell the people straight up, yeah, listen, this thing is 40 years old. Things completely out of gas. Uh, it's not even worth doing a flip and leak search. Even if I find a leak in the evaporator, whereas it probably is, um, it's not, it's not, at this point, it's not worth it. You really just need to upgrade and get some new, new equipment, you know? Anything over 15, 15 years is already starting to get over its lifespan anyway. Sometimes they last 25 years. But anything over 15 years, it's already getting old. Um, something that's 15 years old, I do a leak search. But on something that's 40, 50 years old, you know, I feel bad for some of these old people, you know. They just ain't got the money. Uh, and they got this old stuff in their house. I work on a lot of, lot of, lot of really ancient stuff up my way crazy you know and up my way all, all the returns this is what they do up here they go by the the duck calculator okay if you got a 12 inch round duck and put out so many cfms on a supplier which is uh you know 0.1 static pressure that's what they put on the return it's supposed to be 0.5 static pressure twice as much return as supply but that ain't what they do up my way this is all the shit i see you know it will work like that you're running below saturation a lot of times, but a thing, thing will whistle, noisy, very, very noisy. Um, not right, but I see it a lot. It's just reality, you know. And then the people want to run the blue, uh, run the pleated filters. But besides that, they can't. They got to run the blue filters. It's just, it's just a lot of the shit I see. Sometimes it makes you just shake your head, and you know, I'm only one guy. I only can do so much. A lot of times the people don't want to, don't want to, you know, add more return. They say, well, it's been running like that for 40 years or 30 years. Yeah, it's been running like that. But your efficiency has probably been about, you know, four, four instead of 10. <laughs> yeah, now the AC season's here. I'm going to start doing a little bit more with the 570. I had some guys ask me to, you know, see if I could, uh, you know, go to the 570 with all the uh, the different things it can do. It's, it's quite the device. Uh, you know, the 570 is a little bit different than the 550, uh, as far as the buttons go. And, um, I'm going to start doing more with that and, you know, going over what buttons do what and, um, you know, it's good and bad and everything. Uh, you know, the, the Imperial looks like a pretty good setup. The i manifold uh, looks like a pretty good setup. I'm kind of looking forward to, uh, Steven Rand said he was going to send it up my way. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to, uh, playing around with that a little bit and, uh, I definitely like the app. 
I got the app on my phone and I got a little uh, little tablet type of thing. I got it already set up on it and I, I want to try that. Uh, I definitely like it. Uh, the app. It looks nice. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, hopefully I stay connected. I'm connected. I'm connected. I'm connected. Hopefully I stay connected. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I will because I got the droids. So uh, they say they say they they're the ones that stay connected. Uh, the droids, uh, the apples are the ones that are having problems with. But you know they're lying it. They're lying everything out. It's all gonna you know in time everything gets gets ironed out. And I know Testo um, has had them that all that information for years on, on the 570. Uh, but you just need a laptop to you know. But Imperial just basically put it on an app is what they did, which is which is good you know good for them you know. They, they grabbed it and they took the information. They put it on an app. But I think Testo had all that information for years already. It's all it's all on the 570 program. But anyway, hey, guys. Uh, Saturday. Um, beautiful day out here. I just finished cutting my grass and um, trying not to work on the weekends unless I have to. I'll go out and do work. They're going to they're gonna pay time and a half. Uh, on on the weekends, a lot of people don't want to pay the dough. It's not really that hot. It's probably only like seventy here today, which is which is fine. All right, guys. Hey, man. I thank all my loyal subscribers, and um, I want to thank all the guys that comment on my stuff, and uh, I do appreciate it. You know, I always say it's all about you know the the subs, and you know I could have you know twenty thousand subscribers and nobody comments and nobody comments on my material it's i rather have less subscribers and more people comment so i promise to respond to all my comments uh, i always i always think that that's important and i do that and uh thank you guys and uh, have a good weekend and stay out of trouble